reading, writing, and adventures next on Doki. Come on! of Parker Plucky. Nice try, Fico. Parker never panics like that in any of the books. And I should know because I've read them all. She'd rip the lion right to the ground. Or scare it off with a smelly egg sandwich. <laughs> yeah, Xenia Zeldoff must have a big imagination to write all those Parker Plucky stories. How does she do it? Let's just go inside the library and ask her. Come on. Ooh, wait, wait, wait! Let's get a picture before we go in. How's this? <laughs> Come on, Fico, hurry up or we'll miss the reading of her new book. Everybody say, Zania! Zania! The current carried Parker's little boat faster and faster toward the giant rocks. Even if she could get past them without her paddle, the sound of rushing water told her a powerful waterfall lay just ahead. Oh, and then what happened? <laughs> Shh, Annabella, Xenia's reading. <laughs> That's okay. That's exactly how I want my readers to react. It means I'm doing something right. But to find out what happens next, you'll have to read the new book for yourselves. <laughs> I'm sure you'll love it. In the meantime, I'm here to answer any more questions you have about the Parker Plucky books. Ooh, ooh, I have one. Except for what happens next. No. Yes? Why does Parker take such big chances? Sometimes when I read the books, I want to yell at her to not do something crazy. Every good character has something they really want. And Parker? Well, she wants to solve mysteries. She'll do anything to learn the truth, even take big risks. Mm -hmm. But why do you make it so hard for Parker? She barely gets out of one gym and then gets right into another. Yeah, yeah. I know. Why do you make it so hard? <laughs> but isn't that exciting? I guess so. Once we know what a character wants, we don't let them have it right away, or we wouldn't have a story. Oh. The plot is made up of all the hurdles that get in the hero's way. Yeah, and the toughest one is always near the end. You're right. That's called the climax, where the hero has to be especially brave or clever or make a tough choice. What good questions. Do you think about all these things when you write stories? Me? Oh, I'm not a writer. I think you could be. I believe we all have stories to tell, so why not give it a try? And that goes for every one of you. Wow. <laughs> Well, thank you for being such a wonderful audience. Enjoy the rest of your day at the library. Bye. Toki, Zenia's gone. You can stop clapping now. <laughs> Did you hear what she said, Gabby? That I should try to write a book. I think she said write a story, but sure. Why not a book? It sounds fun. I'd love to write my own story and draw the pictures. Well, I think it sounds hard. Can any of us really write a book? Let's find out. Instead of reading at the library, we could try writing. It'll be like an expedition. <gasps> and we don't even need the plane. Count me in. Right up. 
after I return, my... My... Uh-oh! My library book isn't in my pack! And it's due today! I gotta find it! I guess you're on a different mission, Fico. But for the rest of us, it's expedition time! Yeah! Yeah! Expedition time! Let's go! Hey, Team Doki, everybody get ready! Now it's time to go! Let's go! Okay, here I go. This is Doki about to start writing the most exciting book ever. But what should I write about? <laughs> Aww. You didn't find a lost book and put it back on the shelf, did you? It's square-shaped, and it has lots of pages, and... Hey! My yo-yo! Wow! Lucky you found that! I know! But how did it get out of my pack? Oh, that's how! That must be how I lost my book! My yo-yo, and worst of all... My snacks! Well, you'd better pick up all your stuff. Librarians hate messes, almost as much as they hate lost books. If you don't return that book, They'll make you pay. <gasps> make me pay? Then I better find that book quick. Maybe I should retrace my steps. Lucky you have a trail to follow. <laughs> Look. Yeah. <laughs> Lucky me. <sighs> I am so stuck. I should have asked Xenia how to get started. I need inspiration. <laughs> Hi, Annabella. How's your story coming? Oh, it's fun, Doki. I'm doing it like a comic book because I wanted lots of pictures. What's it about? It's a fairy tale. My favorite kind of story. A very nice fairy loses her fairy dust. And all her nice friends in the magical forest help her look for it until a very nice pixie finds it and gives it back to her, and everyone's happy. The end. Oh! The end? Already? Um, that's great, Annabella. It's short, and everyone's nice. Oh, thank you. But what if your characters were different? And what if the fairy didn't get her fairy dust back so easy? What if no one was there to help her? And she only found a little fairy dust on the ground. So she followed the trail through a spooky swamp. And it led to the home of a goblin. A selfish goblin. The goblin has her fairy dust, but he won't give it back. <laughs> but then, the goblin says he'll give her the fairy dust if she gets him a toy robot. No, wait, an apple! an apple from a magical tree far away. But without her fairy dust, she can't fly. So she has to walk to find it. And then what happens? I don't know, it's your story. Those are great ideas. I like my fairy even better now. She's fun and fearless. It's like Xenia said. Make things tricky for your character and then see what she does. Now I get to draw a lot more pictures. Want to help? I mean, if you finished your story. Finished? I haven't even started. Nope, not it. No. Hi. <laughs> Did you lose something? Shh, not so loud. I don't want the librarian to find out that I... Lost a library book! The librarian? But... She'll make me pay! She's probably a mean old lady who'll make me sit quietly all day and copy books! Books without pictures! Or I might 
him get banned from the library for life! Well, that's not really what... Will you help me find it, huh? Please, 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 please? Okay, my name's David. Now, which book did you lose? I forgot the title. It's about a boy pirate who steals a hot air balloon and crash lands on an island full of dinosaurs. Captain Chaos, that's a good one. It was awesome. Let me know if you find it so I can return it. But don't tell the librarian. Gotta keep looking. But, but I'm... <laughs> Are you guys writing a story? We're planning dinner. <laughs> no, we just came up with a great character, Doki. Johnny Oregano. Johnny is a master chef who has thrilling adventures. A chef? Wow, that's really different. What's he like? Well, Johnny Oregano is smart, good looking, nice to everyone, and the best chef in the world. <laughs> Everyone loves him. He has a restaurant and a TV show. He's got everything. He sounds great. So, what does Johnny Oregano do besides make spaghetti? Uh, we haven't thought of that yet. We were busy coming up with the perfect character. Hmm, maybe he's too perfect. What if there's something he wants and he has to try really hard to get it? What if Johnny wants to be a great chef, but he isn't one yet? And because he isn't a great chef, he makes a lot of mistakes. Oh, oh, I know! He needs a teacher, a real chef that Johnny works for. But what kind of teacher? A nice teacher? A strict teacher? Or a goofy teacher? She's a mean teacher. She doesn't think Johnny's very good, so she only lets him do the dishes. But Johnny wants to prove himself, so he tries to make something really hard all by himself. And he destroys the kitchen. So he runs away. But he keeps having accidents. Until he makes up an amazing dish. By, By accident! accident. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds great. I can't wait to read your story. <laughs> Thanks, Doki. Our hero's way more fun when he's not perfect. And it'll be easier to write about him, now that we know what he wants. You must have some great characters in your story. I wish. I haven't even come up with one good character. Annabella, have you seen my book? You haven't found your library book yet? Let's tell the librarian. No, not the librarian. Do you know what she'll do to me if she finds out? She'll never let me borrow a book again! She'll throw me in a dusty old dungeon with the books nobody wants to read! <laughs> It's true! But, Nico, librarians are really helpful. One of them is helping me print something right now. The librarian is coming here. Thanks for the warning. Ah! Here you go, Annabella. <laughs> nice photo. Thank you. Hi, Gabby. You look like me, stuck. I am stuck, Doki. I can't think of an ending for my story. An ending? I can't think of a beginning. What's your story about? Well, I have two great characters who get into all kinds of trouble. It's about a girl who's a great explorer and her best friend. They search for a lost treasure deep in the darkest jungle. Ah! They face all kinds of danger. 
but they always stick together. And they want the treasure so much that they keep going no matter what. Finally, they climb a volcano to the entrance of a secret cave. And that's where they find the treasure. The end. Wow, that sounds great, Gabby! I don't know. I like most of it, but the ending feels a little dull. They just find the treasure. Hmm. Remember what Xenia said about the end of the story? It's called the climax. And it's the most exciting part of the book, where the hero really gets tested. What if... What if they're about to grab the treasure? And the volcano rumbles, and the best friend falls! Your hero doesn't have much time, and the volcano is about to erupt! She has to save her friend, but if she does, she might lose the treasure. <gasps> wow! Whatever she does will make a really exciting ending! Thanks, Doki! You're welcome! Now I'd better get back to my story, or I'll never write a book! No, sorry, Fico. Then this will be my last visit to the library once the librarian finds out that I lost a book. <laughs> the librarian already knows, Fico. What? How? Who told? I'm the librarian. What? You? But you're not... I'm not what? Mean? Strict? Scary? Aren't you going to make me pay? Fico, you ran off before I could show you our picture. Look, I think it's pretty good. <gasps> hey, it's better than good. It's amazing. It saved me. <gasps> oh, I found it. I found it. Woo, I found it. Mwah, mwah, mwah. My book and I are reunited at last. Oh, it's so beautiful. Mr. Librarian, I'd like to return a book. <laughs> <sighs> it looks like you're busy writing a story. How's it going? Oh, hi, Xenia. Um, Miss Zelda? Actually, I gave up trying to write a story. I couldn't think of one. Then what are you writing? Just my weblog for the Worldwide Expedition Club. And what's the Worldwide Expedition Club? Well, there are club members all over the world, but Team Doki, me and my friends, have a clubhouse on Like We Wanna Know. Sometimes we get a call from other club members. I was thinking, Doki, what if you wrote him instead? I'm on an expedition to find a shipwreck in the Aegean Sea. The mountain gorillas that I've been studying have gone missing. Can you help me find them? And other times, we have a question that we just have to find the answer to. No problem, Team Doki. I do know what happened. So we take our plane anywhere we want to go. And I mean anywhere. We go to high mountains. Or under the ocean. Or even outer space. Wow! Sometimes things get a little tricky. But we don't give up. We always stick together and find a way to make things work out in the end. Hang on, Vigo. We'll get you out. Well, that sounds exciting. And I was right. You are a writer. But I didn't make these stories up. They really happened. Real writers make things up, don't they? Not always. Made-up stories are called fiction. And real-life stories are called non-fiction. You're a non-fiction writer. I am? Definitely. I bet you could turn your weblog into a great non-fiction book. I could? <gasps> I could! Then I will! And I'd love to read it when you do. So don't forget to send me a copy. Good luck! Bye, Doki! Goodbye! And thank you! Hi, Doki! 
Was that Senia Zeldoff you were just talking to? Yeah. I was telling her how I couldn't think of anything to write about. But you thought of a lot of great ideas for my story. And you made our Johnny Oregano character so much better. Yeah, you're full of good ideas. I bet once you think of something to write, you'll have a book done in no time. Actually, I already have enough for a book. How in the world did you finish writing a whole book? Here they are, fresh from the printer. Presenting the first copies of the Ultimate Worldwide Expedition Book Field Guide by Doki. It looks great thanks to Annabella and her design on the cover. I can't believe I got to make a cover for a real-life adventure book. I can't believe I wrote one. And it's a big hit, Doki. Club members are reading it all over the world. I love adventure books. You never know what's going to happen. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you know what happens in this one, Fico. You're in it. I know, but I still want to read it right after I finish my new library book, which David let me borrow because I'm so responsible. Oops. <laughs> Here, Fico. I think you could use this extra big expedition sticker. Good as new! Thanks, Annabella! 